This video is sponsored by Babbel. More on that later. Bonjour! Halloween is so close, I can almost feel it. So today we are making a giant pumpkin decoration. But wait, that can also be worn as a costume. I guess we are making a wearable pumpkin. <laughs> I mean, it's just the obvious next step after my silly pumpkin shirt. It might be ambitious and I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm really excited about it. This project was inspired by my love for Halloween and pumpkins. Oh, and also by Cinderella, where the fairy godmother turns the carriage in the, into a pumpkin. But I thought it would be fun to do the opposite and turn myself into a pumpkin because I also did a Halloween Cinderella. So I guess I'm going full circle here. This was the plan all along. No. <laughs> you will see how I turn a bunch of yoga mats and paint and scrap fabric into a realistic pumpkin that's big enough to fit me inside. Maybe several people. <laughs> but also maybe easy to wear. No, probably not. Comfortable? No, not also. But it will be fun and an absolutely normal and practical thing to wear. I'm sorry, my hair is just not working. Well, I hope you are ready for some intense Halloween content. Let's go. But first, a little word from our lovely sponsor from today, Babbel. I found just the perfect pigment at the hardware store and it is called Potiron and that is French for pumpkin. And you would have known that if you were using today's sponsor, Babbel. Babbel is one of the top learning languages app in the world. It is the ideal platform to explore 14 different languages at your own pace. Je m'appelle Ariel, dibi dibi flu. That's you if you don't use this app. With Babel, you can plan your lessons ahead of time. And whenever you have a moment, you can have some enjoyable activities like podcasts or games. The app's algorithm keeps track of your progress, allowing it to suggest exercises that match your skill level or your current interests. So you can learn effortlessly and naturally without feeling too much pressure. Où est la bibliothèque? Donde está la biblioteca? So if you are intrigued, you know what to do. You can check the link in my description and you can get 60% off of your subscription and even two free live classes if you sign up. Thanks to Babel for sponsoring this video. And now let's go back to work. I'm thinking I just did a pumpkin shirt so I could just use that pattern. Wait, this is not a bad shape. I just have to make it. Bigger. Always keep your homemade patterns. According to my measurements, I should make this six times bigger. Let's hope I have enough. <laughs> I think a good material for this project use the cosplay foam because it's very easy to carve, it's very light. But I only have this amount and it's kind of expensive for what it is. So I thought I would try to use yoga mats. This is also foam, so it's very lightweight, it's very cheap. I have two old ones like this and I bought a bundle of this for like 25. This is not good yoga mats, it's more to use as protection on the floor or something. But yeah, let's try to do something with this. <laughs> Usually you use uh, contact cement on foam, but here this foam is not dense at all. It doesn't have a lot of surface to stick on the edge. So for the construction, I think I'm just going to use some cheap tape. This is a bad idea, but she doesn't know it yet. It stays on pretty well and it's all going to be covered in fabric anyway, so yeah. I think I have to use the whole length of the mat. Wow. Okay, so we have one slice. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> All the bananas, which we are going to call croissant from now on, as someone mentioned in the comment that it was more appropriate. Which, yeah. So all the croissants are cut uh, in half. After some measuring, I have to do this uh, to fit everything in the foam that I have. We need 18 croissants, so that means 36 of these half croissants. This is all the pieces that I've already cut. I don't think I have enough. I just want to start putting it together and actually figure out if I will have enough with the leftover mats over there. Okay, I just need 23 more. Now let's assemble that. <laughs> I don't know where it's going, but this is really fun. And then figure out the next step. <laughs>
The tape may be peeling off in some places, but it does always stick very well to itself. So since I won't do the protective layer today, I just have to make it very secure, at least for the night. A bunch more tape! Next morning, it collapsed. Ah, the tape is ripping off in many places. It holds up very well while I made this kind of cage thing. This test for the protective layer is working really well. I will, I'm happy about that, but... At this point, I was in the middle of a video that was just making three pumpkins, like a small, medium, and this big one. But it looks like it's not gonna happen. So I just have to chop this project into two videos. And if you are watching this, it means I'm in the big pumpkin video. Let's add more tape to this pumpkin. These old clothes have been in the donating part for years, but they are a bit too old and the polyester fabric is just damaged, so let's just destroy them. I'm basically doing papier mache, but using wood glue and some fabric instead of paper. It should make a sort of shell all around the pumpkin, but still staying a bit flexible because wood glue is uh, flexible. This is... this is not great. <laughs> the shape is very messy and all the duct tape has fallen off. I need to close both sides but I don't really know how to glue them so I think I'm just going to sew them and we'll see what happens because... My glued fabric has plenty of wrinkles. I was hoping to get it uh, into a nice texture. And on top of that, I wanted to add a texturing paste. But it has been raining so much these days that nothing is drying, not even my glued fabric. <laughs> ah, this project is cursed. Which is very Halloween in a way. Patching the sewn places and reinforcing a bit with some more tissue mache. We have the shape, it is structurally kind of secure, so it should be okay. It's not drying as good as I want because it's just raining and so humid and it's getting cold. But uh, yeah, we keep going. This project would have been so much smoother if it was just all planned since the beginning, but I think I think it's cursed. It's lumpy, I'm not even sure if it's going to hold when I wear it. I think I'm just going to embrace it and Frankenstein it and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, I just had lunch and now I'm thinking better. I think we can save it with hot glue. I'm just adding some padding here and there and then I will cover it in uh, fabric and then I will just add all the paint and the glue. I think it will just mash everything together and maybe I can save it with the paint. I don't know if it's the right choice, but this is where I'm going. <laughs> There's no turning back now. Hey guys, you wanna go scaring? Okay, she has eyes, she has a mouth. Now I need to secure the opening on the top, on the bottom, and then... Wait. Oh. Sometimes you trust the process, and you know the process is gonna betray you. But you just keep going on because you're already too far to turn back. And you promised your audience that you were gonna make a video a week until Halloween. And also, you have a sponsor. 
if I had the time, I would probably just have started over at least five times. As a perfectionist, this is just so painful because I'm working on several things at the same time. But one way or another, we will have a finished thing tomorrow. And I can cry later. Approximately 10 hours later. <sighs> I went to bed and I forgot to put the stool back on, so now... This is such a cursed project. Uh... I tried this material for my pile of junk from the house, but of course when I was halfway done with the teeth, the hot glue started to peel off from it. So I'm going back to foam because why not? Whatever. If you seal the foam with a heat gun, it is okay to paint. And at least the weather is getting better. An attempt at covering the top of the pumpkin was made. I wanted to make a sort of stem hat with a few pumpkin leaves that I could have on my head or on top of the pumpkin when it's used as a decoration. I can kind of mold this foam using the heat from the heat gun. The hot glue is not sticking very well to the yoga mat and the heat gun gave up. I just have to finish everything tonight because I need to edit tomorrow and I have a sponsor and deadlines. This project was cursed from the beginning. I should not have chosen that material. Do not use yoga mats. I think I'm just going to have to scrap the hat. I just have to make something, but this project has been hard. So many bad choices, which it's something that happens, but you never think that you are gonna make a bad choice, but 